So the Reclaimer 18 has received a buff with the Season 5 update in order to fix things with problems to do with pallet spread along with running it in semi-auto mode. However, with that being said, my old class setup still kind of remains the best, but with the buff or the fix to the weapon, it just got even better. The target of this one is to aim down the sight and keep the pellet spread nice and tight. Yes, it's going to require you to be more accurate, but the one shot potential is significantly raised now. You can get far more long shots while it's not really sporadic hit markers. It's definitely more consistent, which is exactly what was the problem with the weapon in the first place. So the first attachment you're gonna need is a stock with the hinge laugh, light stock, aim walking speed, crouch movement speed, hip fires, spread movement speed, everything that's really necessary when running a shotgun. The no stock would be the best option if it didn't ruin the iron sights. Let's just be honest, but this thing's unusable, mildly unusable while running the no stock. So the hinge lap still remains the best. For the rear grip, you're gonna want the center mass grip tape. I did say it's gonna be an aim down sight speed style of build. So sprint to fire and aim down sight speed is gonna be gained here. 3% increase to ADS along with 16% to sprint to fire. Another attachment to target movement and handling or ADS is the DR6 hand stop. So the movement isn't, I, well, it's, it is important. Let's start there. It is important, but not more important than the ADS and sprint to fire speed game. Kind of the same reason we chose the rear grip here, but we are gaining a little more ADS at 7% and 10% to the sprint to fire speed here. So the muzzle you're gonna wanna run is the Bryson choke. And it's self-explanatory because it's going to keep your shotgun spread nice and tight with a 38% increase, which is perfect when aiming down the sights. It is also going to help with hip fire, which it is a shotgun. You are going to find yourself in situations where you do need to hip fire, but keeping the pellet spread as tight as possible with the shotgun spread is the most important part of this attachment. In the final attachment, here's the Discourager 900 Heavy Barrel to increase the bullet velocity and damage range, 16% there to the damage range. The bullet velocity, not really important, but it does increase that along with recoil control. The big one here is going to be the damage range, however. So as I said, overall, my attachments really haven't changed, but with the consistency updates to the weapon or the buff, it definitely is more of a reliable one-shot kill. That was my biggest complaint. If you guys watched some of my previous Reclaimer 18 videos is that you'd be on top of them and somehow manage to get a hit marker. Now that kind of goes away for sure. It's definitely one of those shotguns that definitely requires a little bit more skill, if that's how you want to put it, because you do need to be accurate, but it does have a pretty crazy one-shot potential, similar to like the Bryson 800 back from Modern Warfare 2. Here's also the rest of my loadout on the screen. If you guys wanted to copy this down as well, we're going to jump over to DOS House for today's gameplay to feature the one-shot potential here with the Reclaimer 18. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button as always. Let's get into it. So I am sticking to my promise of playing other maps outside of shipment when it comes to shotguns. Guns. Das Gross, I have said it before, happens to be one of my favorite remakes, so I'm definitely down to play this. Now, when it comes to nukes, it's definitely... Uh-oh. 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 What are you, a moving gun? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. From a pretty uh, interesting start, to say the least. Things aren't going too poorly. Yeah, that's... Pff, that sucks. I can't really do anything with that. I need this advanced UV now. I can do there. Hold on. Fans UAV. I need this grenade. I can't push this. Yeah, see, I can't really do anything here. Tossing subtext. I'm 
I'm gonna go around this way. That's not Bueno. Dude, this other team has zero interest in the OBJ, like whatsoever. Kind of crazy how little they're interested in it. Not good. Imagine if I pulled that off. Same guy got me, OG Wayne. What I desperately need. Is uh, some OBJ time from the uh, opposition here. OG Wayne. Should I pick up this Moors for a little bit? Nah, gotta stay on, gotta stay on topic here. Seventy one. What the? I've drank so much caffeine that I am almost jittery. Just get aggressive with it because hello. I mean, that's the best way you can use this thing is just getting up in their face. But the other team is very lackluster on the OBJ side, and it. I want to hit the VTOL, but I know what happens if I do that. They start to shoot it down, and my team just keeps racking up the score. Well, kind of like it's happening now, to be honest.
All right, 93. We can at least lock in 100 here for sure. Well, I hope I can. I have a lot of time to do it. Need three. So I could totally go with a VTOL here just because it's going to end. Yeah, we're going to do that. The game's going to end, so may as well. Well, that's kind of a tragic little situation there. I got to pay attention to the clock now. I don't want to choke calling in my nuke again. It's looking like that's going to have to be now. They've left me with no options. Alrighty. Again. Not much talking in that one. So much caffeine. I'm kind of jittery.